welcome back to my kitchen. I am so excited for this video. Organization is something that is very important to me. It has been for years and I enjoy it. There's nothing that gets to me quicker than a space that is not organized or functioning properly. We are currently living in a rental. If you are new, I'm a mom of four. We live in Sarasota, Florida. And I helped actually design and furnish this house last year and finished it up before we moved in here. We didn't realize that was gonna happen, but it all kind of worked itself out. We sold our house and we're currently looking to buy another one, but in the meantime, we needed a rental. So here we are. The kitchen is beautiful and it's big. It is just so much more room than I've ever had and I'm gonna be completely spoiled when I move out of here. <laughs> So I am enjoying it while I can and I've had things pretty well organized since we've been here for a few months now but there's some things that I wanted to change and I wanted to focus on that in this video. I wanted to do a little bit more bulk storage and also give you a little tour of how I have things organized. So I hope you enjoy it. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. I would love that. And we you see you. You can see me? Okay. So this is my kitchen. I just got some groceries this morning, so I stuffed a few things in there because I knew I was gonna deal with them here shortly, but it's not terrible. Like the system itself is pretty good. It's just I need the bulk storage and I got bread flour or I'm using bread flour a lot more recently. So I wanna add that into the mix and I wanna have some bigger containers to put stuff in. So I'm gonna be working on some of these and then maybe I can use some of these containers for other stuff. And then right over here, I have another cabinet with mostly like baking items, a few other random things. And I definitely need to give this a little help. And then same with this one, I have like some baking stuff that I keep in a bin and then just various other things. So I'm gonna be working on this. First off, I need to apologize. The quality of the mic is not the best. I think I need a new one, but for now I'm having to work with it. So I hope it's not too bad. I went ahead and bought these two gallon pails from Lowe's and my friend Adeline actually showed these in some of her videos or her one video of organizing stuff. So. I was like, this is a really good idea. They're food grade um, two gallon pails and they have a seal around the lid. So they're a couple dollars each, very inexpensive, and I would definitely recommend them. I'll have them linked in the description box. I also went ahead and bought some labels on Amazon from the Talented Kitchen. I've used her in the past and I like them. I'm probably the only person on YouTube, uh, if you wanna call me an influencer, who doesn't have a cricket. I, uh, <laughs> at least I think so. Maybe one day I'll get one. I just have never actually gotten one, mainly because, well, it takes up room, storage, and I feel like it's just something else I need to learn how to do, and it takes time, and anyway, I'm making excuses. I'll probably get one at some point, but I just haven't yet, so I'll have those linked as well. So I just went ahead and separated what I kind of had and put them in different containers and then used up the other containers that I had my stuff stored in for like pastas and things like that. So working on kind of organizing things, uh, putting things into some of the different containers, some I kept the same, and then also transferring some of the labels. I just used some clear packing tape to tape it onto the exterior of the container so I can read the instructions and see what it is, but then I can also just remove it if I need to. So that's a little tip for you if you don't wanna you know lose the directions. So I was really happy these all fit perfectly into the bottom drawer, five of them. I had six pails total, so I put my powdered sugar up top with my other like baking supplies, so that worked out just fine, and I'm really happy with that. So I didn't have to buy any other new containers. I wanted to just to use what I had, and it worked out pretty well. Uh, I have a various, or various different types of containers. I have some from Walmart, some OXO, some are like the Amazon brand. I forget the kind I have, the more square little ones. I had worked with a company in the past, so if I can, I'll try to link some of my favorite ones in the description box, but in the meantime, you can kind of watch a little bit what I'm doing, and then I'll show you guys a tour of the kitchen as of now.
so I'm done and I have a moment of quiet right now so let me show you what uh, I have going on if those lights are blinking they aren't actually in real life they're just it's it's the camera so uh, let me show you guys around you saw the top cabinet was pretty full it's still kind of full but I have some more room to work with I put the owner's stuff up on the top and this is all kind of my things here I'm gonna try and do it pretty quickly I've got a little one that is uh, waking up so I put all of the pastas and then a couple of other bins that I have things contained in cake mixes and then those are like random things in the back and then in here is like my jellos and also like cake decorating supplies uh just you know kind of the same types of things grouped together second shelf is for canned goods and this one has my turntables with some snack items like the ind individual snacks there's also spreads popcorn drink and then overflow in the back for like extras in this one i have a cereal and like potatoes, onions, and then a bread container, then also my pancake mixes back there. And then the bottom slide out is snacks. So crackers, chips, I also have some cookies here that I had baked, put those in there, pretzels. This just kind of varies. I'm not like super picky, but I have all of that on the bottom shelf so that the kids can access it. Really quickly, here's my junk drawer. It's not super organized, but it's not terrible. I kind of went through it just a little bit today. And this one is super cool. Like, I literally don't know how to act with this type of organization, you guys. It's, it spoils me for sure. So I've got baking pans here. And then also just a couple of random things here. Me. So I thought I'd make it through the tour hopefully before she wakes up, but no, nope, you wanted to wake up, so you've been pretty good though. So I will have her uh, while I'm doing the rest of the filming, so if you hear squeaks and noises, that is, that's why. This is Miss Harper if you're new. It's our smallest member of the family. Okay, so beside the dishwasher, I've got three drawers. This one's a little empty right now, but I have my dish rags and dish towels in here. So this one has glasses. And then the bottom drawer is all stuff from her. I just kind of stashed it in there. I didn't want to use it. Under the sink, I have my KitchenAid and also my dishwashing supplies and a few other random things. And then some of the stuff in the back was here before, so I just kind of pushed it to the back, and the rest is mine. So on this side of the sink, we've got the utensil drawer. This one I have our plates and bowls in, and the bottom one is for Tupperware containers and lids. Moving over here, these are so big and deep, and it's just amazing. I've got my pots and pans, sauce, like uh, frying pans here. And then some Dutch ovens and saucepans in here. This is probably one of my favorite drawers. So I had all the spice jars before, but uh, these are like built-in spice organizers, which is just really amazing. And then in the corner, there's a Lazy Susan. These both swivel around so you can access everything, but I have like crock pots, uh, some bigger items. And thought I'd touch a little bit on the open shelving. I've got two sides here and most of it was like this when i came i switched out a couple of the faux plants and stuff with my own real ones so i've got this one here i love me some plants you guys and then i added this little green picture there found it thrifted um other than that it's mostly just for aesthetics cookbooks and cutting boards i turned the lights off because it was just not cooperating with the camera I've got a container of flour, the big one, and then the little one is brown sugar. Okay, so here's the range area. Let you see that. The top drawer, I have um, aprons and pot holders. And then down below, there's built-in storage for cookie sheets and such. I think I have a couple items down at the bottom of the oven as well. And beside the oven, this drawer is pretty full. It's not organized completely how I'd want to uh, like I wish I would have another drawer 
with something like this, but I don't, um, and it's perfectly fine. It's just, it's a little more full than I would like it, mainly because I don't really wanna have stuff out on my countertop, which I totally could, so it's kind of my own fault, but I've got some things here. Also a knife block up top. This is my baking drawer bowls and such. And then the bottom one has some casserole dishes. Okay, so above the fridge, I kind of forgot there's actually stuff in here, what's even in there. I think that's my cake dome and then the rest is hers. Beside the fridge, there's this cabinet here. I've got some nicer dishes, bowls, things like that. And then also I have uh, like the water and formula for Harper here. So I just put that in this cabinet because it's all kind of right here. And this one, we took out a shelf just to be able to store some bigger items here. I've got like my vinegars, baking powder, all of that. I love having Lazy Susans where you can access everything. Second shelf is cookbooks and that's mostly it. There's a couple of t seasoning packets and some other things there and then some extra formula up top. So moving over to the island, I'll sw swivel around this way. The rest of the house is not necessarily cleaned up terribly much, but it gives you an idea at least. Um, this side, I've got a microwave and then the bottom drawer is mostly, you can kind of tell, it's like the little, little uh, machines or I don't know what you call it really. Toaster, blenders, all of that. This one has some of the items that I don't use as much. I wanted to have a drawer that Oakland can reach. And so this is kind of her drawer as well as Harper's uh, for bottles. And then stuff will kind of, you know, change as, as they grow. But hopefully this will kind of stay for the next couple months. This one has smaller glassware, uh, just dishes, things that have lids and stuff. So the island does have a sink with a garbage disposal and underneath is part of it is mine and part of it was here so I don't use it a ton under here. Um, they had this Lazy Susan which I've got one or two myself and I love them. There's just, they're just really nice. You can get them at Target. And then I do have my oils and well you can see Crisco's some things like that. Um, trash bags because the trash can's right beside it. Here is the drawer for my saran wraps and all of that. And lastly, my baking cabinet, which I really love how it turned out. It is pretty full, but it's not like I use it on just a daily basis, but I like having it all in one place. So some of these containers I reused and took the labels off or changed them out, things like that. But I do kind of have, you know, a place for everything. And then the bottom one, of course, is where all of my bulk items are. So really happy with that. And I think it'll kind of just help me not have to be constantly buying things all the time. So I also thought I would show you guys the coffee bar over here. I have my beloved Revel espresso machine over here, which I use every day. And I've got some syrups, extra coffee, some plants, things like that. So they do have a little mini fridge here. Eventually their pool will be done here. Then there'll be a nicer view out of here. But it's kind of geared for the thought of being able to serve people from inside. This is like a slider window, so that'll be really, really nice. All right guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you share it with your friends and hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And I hope it gave you some inspiration and motivation. I know that this kitchen is Definitely not like something that everyone can have. I was not used to it, but it's something I'm really enjoying for the time being. But just hope that this video helps you maybe get some ideas or things you could do in your own home. I know that I've had probably three or so different houses up until now, and every space is different. Sometimes you have very little space, so do the best you can and make it function as best as you can as well. So sometimes means being more minimal. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you guys have a very good week and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.